So everyone is talking about collagen. Collagen, 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 elastin. What are, are these things? <laughs> collagen is a peptide. It's a very complex peptide that your body synthesizes. Doc, you're sounding very doctory. What do you mean when you say all of this? What I mean is the skin and most tissues in your body have collagen in them. Collagen is a support system. Think of it almost like the framework, the struts, the actual architecture that supports the structure of the skin. As we age, we lose the ability to synthesize collagen and the amount of collagen in our skin decreases dramatically, especially as we become older. Now, this tends to lead to less plump, less firm, more wrinkles, less structure, more sagging. And all of those things translate on the outside to an older, more aged appearance. So that's why it's very important to use things that support the body making new collagen because we want our body to repair itself. There are things that we can do with our environment. There are things that we can do with our internal organs to improve the collagen synthesis. And some of that goes along with obviously healthy lifestyle, diet, exercise, those kind of things. But we can do things that change the substrate, the environment of our skin, like medical grade skincare. Things like retinoids, things like retinol, those things improve the skin turnover, meaning we're putting in a molecule onto the skin that says, hey skin, make new skin. <laughs> the human body has several types of collagen. Collagen is a complex protein. When I say protein, what I mean is it is a combination of smaller amino acids. Amino acids are the fundamental building blocks of our bodies, along with deoxyribonucleic acid, carbohydrates, and fatty acids. Everything in our body can be broken down and made with proteins. Now, when we're talking about collagen specifically, it is a protein sheet, meaning a sequence of amino acids that has been folded and actually combined and rolled together in a specific way. Collagen is very important for all aspects of our body, from our teeth to our hair, to our skin, to our organs. All of those require that fundamental structure, framework to support all of the other cells. It creates a lattice, a network that all the cells can work within and communicate with. So what we want to do is actually improve the development of collagen. Now, collagen requires several cofactors like vitamin C to actually cause that triple helix of the protein to actually fold. There are certain chemical bonds that happen on a cellular level, on a molecular level actually, that cause the collagen to fold in specific ways. As our body starts producing collagen at the level of the ribosome and in the mitochondria, the body starts folding these protein complexes and starts stringing together pieces of amino acids. The three main amino acids that are found in our collagen are glycine, proline and hydroxyproline. These are specific amino acids that are fundamental to the actual creating that long chain of protein. Now, as we're talking about building collagen, there are different types of collagen from type one, type two, three, and four collagen. As we have certain injuries in our body, our body will lay down collagen as type three collagen and eventually, at least in the skin, transfer that type three and renew it to type one collagen, which is a little bit more firm, a little bit more organized type collagen. When we're talking about synthesizing collagen as it relates to improving the skin quality and texture, we want the ability for our body to renew itself, to make more collagen. That's where things like retinoids, as well as certain antioxidants, help stimulate the body's own natural processes intracellularly to produce more collagen. So what's all this hype about collagen water or drinking collagen or eating collagen to support skin health? Now I'll be honest, the data here is kind of weak. The reason why is if you're thinking about what you're doing when you're ingesting collagen, 
Any protein that we consume goes into our stomach and starts to become hydrolyzed, meaning broken down. That process continues in our small intestine. When a protein or a carbohydrate is broken down, its complex structure gets broken down into its substructure, meaning its amino acids, its carbohydrates, and the small molecules then have to be absorbed into the gut. Large molecules can't pass the gut barrier, meaning our body has to actually take that large molecule, like a piece of bread or toast, and break it down into small molecules of glucose or sucrose or lactose for that matter. The body will then absorb those structures. It will circulate through our bloodstream and then be resynthesized in things like the liver or the pancreas. Now, the issue with collagen and collagen water is that the same process is happening. Our body is going to break down those amino acids and then have to resynthesize those elsewhere. So for me, I've always had a little bit of a hard time understanding conceptually the idea of drinking collagen water because your body still has to break it down. Now, from the perspective of drinking collagen water, which has those amino acids like lysine, proline, and hydroxyproline, Maybe you're increasing the amount of concentration of those molecules so your body can absorb and then resynthesize those. From that perspective, maybe drinking collagen water could be effective, but you also could just take protein powder or eat those fundamental amino acids. So in my take, I don't like the taste of collagen water, and I know most people don't. So when I weigh up the benefits and the drawbacks, and I think about the actual biochemistry of how it works, I'm not a huge proponent of drinking your collagen. I would much rather provide nice, healthy substrates like a diet that's rich in amino acids and protein, as well as good natural skincare or things like red light therapy or active ingredients that are going to actually stimulate your body to make new collagen. Thanks for watching. I'm Dr. Carl Truesdale, board certified facial plastic surgeon in Beverly Hills. If you're interested in more amazing, beautiful transformations, educational content, or behind the scenes, definitely subscribe, like, and I'll see you soon.